Hi everyone. A smarter, more colorful dash in the safety net of traction control are the only discernible improvements to the riding experience. But that's no bad thing because the Kawasaki Z900 is still a superb naked roadster. Dunlop's new Road Sport 2 tires are average at best fine for normal riding, but quickly lack grip when you lean on them. The frame is strengthened around the swing arm pivot, but it's hard to feel any difference in isolation but handling is sweet. The Z900 might weigh a relatively bulky 210 kilograms, but it's nicely planted, balanced and lithe on the move. Steering has easy poise and there's lots of meaty, tactile stopping power at both ends. But the front brake lever is too far away, even on its minimum span adjustment. Exhaust and mapping are new to satisfy Euro 5. But the Z's traditional 948cc inline four-cylinder motor is unchanged and makes the same 124bhp and 73ft lb of torque. But that's no bad thing as this is one of Kawasaki's most enjoyable engines with perfectly judged gearing and a thick wadge of unruffled oomph from tick over to its 10,500 revolutions per minute red line. The throttle is light and easy, the soundtrack dark and raucous and there's so much grunt on tap you rarely need to use the bottom three gears. Kawasaki claims smoother fueling but it still jolts on and off the power at low speed. It doesn't look hugely different to current model and like all Kawasaki's Naked Z it features the Japanese firm's divisive, Sagomi, styling. The Z900 now has LED lights all round, restyled tank and headlight shrouds in a new belly pan. Build quality is still excellent with deep bodywork and engine paint finishes and lots of thoughtful attention to detail including wavy discs, Z-shaped rear light and shaped bar ends. Accessories include a lower seat, luggage, crash protection, USB and 12V sockets and screen. Zs are built to last, so don't expect any reliability problems. Riding models get their first airing on the Z900. Sport has full power and the least traction control intervention. Raran has reduced power with lots of TCM. Road has full power. Medium traction, all selectable on the move. You can mix and match power and traction level in rider mode for when you want less intrusion from the electronics on a track day or find yourself on closed road and fancy popping the front wheel up with the clutch, which it'll happily oblige. An up-down shifter would be nice, but the gearbox and clutch are just as sweet without it. Kawasaki's new Bluetooth-enabled 10.9 cm TFT dash gives the Z a more modern, colorful and fresher feel. You can choose between a black or white background and both are clear, whatever the light conditions. The display shows speed, revs, gear position, an eco riding indicator and the usual trip and mileage information. Pair it with your phone and you can use Kawasaki's Rideology app to log your journey. Remotely adjust display settings and view the bike's vital statistics including current fuel level, mileage and service schedule. Thanks for watching.